Today I will show you how to fix some of the for slow FPS problem. Before moving on to the video, don't forget to leave a like the video. We are having a lot of crashes and FPS issues because the game is new. They will be fixed with the updates later, but today I will show you how to fix low FPS. The steps I am showing have been tested by many people on different forums including Reddit and Daybird. I have combined these solutions into an optimization grid video, so I recommend you to watch the video until the end. Our first step is to disable full screen optimizations. Open File Explorer and navigate to this PC from left menu. You need to click on the disk where Steam is installed. If you haven't made any changes, Steam should be installed on the C drive. Find the Steam folder and open the Steam Apps folder. Then click on the common folder where our games are located. Finally click on the Sons of the Forest folder. Right click on the Sons of the Forest application and click on properties. In the window that opens, click on compatibility in the top menu and check the disable full screen optimizations option. To save the setting, click on apply and then ok. Our second step is applicable if you have two graphics cards. We will make sure that Sons of the Forest use the more powerful graphics card between two. To do this, right click on the desktop and click on display settings. Scroll down to the bottom of the window and click on the blue graphics settings text. Here click on the browse button to add Sons of the Forest. Just like in the first step, navigate to the Sons of the Forest file location. Select Sons of the Forest X and click Add. Click on Options below the Edit file and select High Performance from the three options. Our third step is to close unnecessary applications that we know the purpose of. These applications use our computer's resources in the background. Especially, we need to close applications with overlay features like Discord and keyboard and mouse applications like Razer and Logitech. To close these applications, we open Task Manager. Right click on the applications we know the purpose of and click End Task. Yes, the third step is complete. We don't close task manager because it will be used in the fourth step. For our fourth step, we open the game while keeping the task manager open. We minimize the game and go to task manager. Here we can see sounds of the forest. Click on the icon next to it and right click on the sounds of the forest option below. Click on go to details from the options that appear. Then right click on sounds of the forest.x service. Hover over set priority and select above normal. Click on change priority. The setting is now applied and we can close the task manager. Our final step is to change some game settings. You need to use these settings until new updates arrive. Don't worry, we will reduce the graphics as much as possible. Click on options. First, we will make some adjustments in display. I am setting the resolution to 1920 by 1080. You should set it according to how you use Windows. We'll set full screen to exclusive full screen and disable VSync. Click apply at the bottom right to save the settings. Then click on graphics in the top menu. We need to change several things here. First, we set draw distance to medium. Set shadow quality to medium. Set clouds to low. Set grass to medium. Set parallax distance to medium and texture resolution to half. Scroll down to features. This is the most important part. Set dynamic resolution to TAAU and dynamic resolution target to 50. Turn off bloom. Now we are done with the necessary settings. Click apply at the bottom to save the settings. Now you can enter the game and check the difference in FPS. There may not be a significant increase in stable FPS, but sudden drops should be resolved. You can help others by writing in the comments how much FPS difference you got. We have come to the end of the video.
I hope this video fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care and see you in the next video.